Once you've drawn shapes and curves, you'll be able to manipulate the nodes of those objects quite easily using the node tool. But in this video, we're going to have a look at how you can select nodes, align nodes, and to transform nodes as well. So the alignment and transformation is new to 1.7 and above in Affinity Designer. We'll just show you how. So first of all, we're going to manipulate the mouth of this uh, insect. Uh, and you can see here, if we go to the node tool, we've got several nodes, smooth nodes, one, two, three, four, five. Now, first of all, we want to introduce some additional nodes just to demonstrate the functionality. So let's go to hover over somewhere along the top lip of this, this beast. I'll just click uh, once, twice, three, four, and five. So that lets me demonstrate how I can make different types of selection of those nodes. So first of all, I'll just press the escape key to take away that single node selection. That's a deselect there. And now I'll do a marquee selection. So that's a, a hold of the left mouse button and drag right the way across all of those nodes to encompass them and release. So with that done, I can then just drag all of the nodes and move them upwards or downwards. Okay, I'll just do an undo there and uh, I'll deselect with the escape key. And I'll just show with the shift modifier, the shift key held down that I can select one, two, three, four nodes, and then selectively just manipulate those nodes. Now, a new feature of 1.7 is the ability to use lasso selection and polygon selection of nodes. So, using the Alt key, an Alt modifier, just press that down. With the left mouse button held down, just drag a marquee. Remember keeping the Alt key down all the time. Round and then back to its originating point and then release. You see we've selectively selected those nodes there. Now, it's, the results are identical to the shift select, but in this case, a lasso selection is a lot more useful if you've got a complex arrangement of nodes where it's difficult to use a marquee selection or an individual shift selection of those nodes. Okay, you can also do a polygon selection as well. So, Alt modifier down again, and then instead of holding down the left mouse button, just click repeatedly as you go around these nodes, encompassing them as you go. And back to the originating point, just click once. And again, the results are the same. But you might find polygon selection easier than lasso selection. Deselect now. And I just want to just do something with this end node here, just to select it and just drag it downwards slightly and then do a marquee selection because I want to show you alignment now. So if I go to the alignment uh, option on the toolbar, I'll be able to align to middle all of those nodes and distribute them evenly between the left and the rightmost nodes. Clearly we're getting a wavy line there, I'll just cancel there, but we can obviously change that I'll just deselect uh, this node with the escape key and instead on the bottom lip I'll just do a marquee selection around these three nodes and show you two things here. Well, first of all we can uh, do some, first of all an alignment and if we go up to the alignment option on the top toolbar with those nodes selected with the marquee selection I can align to middle and you can see that the nodes there are aligned horizontally. In addition to that, I can uh, space horizontally, which means that, let me just press that now, the distance between each node is the same. So the first and the second node is the same as the second and third node. Okay, I'll click done now. Now another new feature of 1.7 is transform mode. So on the context toolbar, I can enable transform mode, just like this, and I can select 
a new set of nodes just by doing a marquee selection. And you'll see instead of having a bounding box, which you normally get round uh, the whole object, say the lips, we get this bounding box round the node selection. And this allows you to transform those nodes in relation to each other. So I'm able to, first of all, scale from a corner handle outwards to get a different kind of a, a look to the, the lips and the, the face. Scaling outwards. And clearly I can also do a transformation as well. So I'll just transform that around to kind of fit better with the shape of the lips. So quite powerful transformation of nodes just while we're in transform mode.